after an eight pitch at bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Here's Corey Seeger. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Man, I think he's trying to send a message right here. I'm going to challenge you. I like my stuff. I think I'm better than you. I don't care how good a hitter you are. And this guy's a good hitter, by the way. But he came right after him early in the count. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a ball sprayed foul into the seats near third. Bases are empty. One man out. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's in at second base with a first inning double. Man, that's always tough. He was a strike away from striking out two in a row, but he got a little careless and caught too much of the plate there. It gets ripped for a one-out extra base hit, and he's got some work to do now to get out of this one. Stepping in now, Justin Turner. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. And that's in there. Base hit. Seeger rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the run will score as the Dodgers grab the early 1-0 lead. Well, nice job right there. He comes through with the RBI base hit, and now his side has the lead. Standing in now, number 35, two and one. Well, I don't know how he missed that pitch. That ball's in the zone a long time, but he missed it. I guess that happens. And there are the umpires working this one, calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. Well, Johnson has gotten the inconsistent label before, but it's usually not too bad. Sometimes he's dead on with corner pitches, and other times he seems to tighten it up a bit. Up and down seems to be a similar experience, so we'll see how he does in this one. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that will end up a foul ball. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Ready now with the payoff pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Reddick has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Ready with the one and one. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Ready on one and two. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Dodgers lead this one, one to nothing. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. What's the key to a home victory, Harold? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Alex Wood. 
is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Dodgers. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that stationed, standard baseball. 